Hello everyone, welcome to Sew so Out Loud. My name is Jasmine Marin, and this video is about how to believe you're truly beautiful. Starting that self-love process. So the first tip I really want to start with is a very essential one, and it's the one that I feel like I really started with. And once I started doing this, I felt like that's when the self-love really started to come in. And that is, I started to get to know myself. And if you already feel like you know yourself, maybe you've just lost yourself for a while, I have one word for you, and that is reflection. Reflection helped me look at my shadows, which is a very difficult thing to do, but it helps us grow so, so much. I'm a introvert. I'm just a natural reflectionist, I feel like. I've always been in my mind, I've always felt safe being in my head and so reflection really comes natural to me but it's still difficult it's still a hard thing to do like I don't want to look at my shadows around connection I don't want to look at my shadows around money it's a very scary process we cannot love ourselves until we love our shadows number two very I'm not gonna go too much into this one because we've heard it all before, but I'm just here to remind you again of this very important one, which is follow your heart. Don't do it out of obligation that you wanna be perfect. Just do it out of joy, out of love, and schedule that time in your calendar. Number three is to detect your scarcity mindset. This one really, really helped me to pinpoint where my shadows are in each area of my life. I'm, it's gonna take a long time for me to work through them, but step one is being aware of what your wounds are. So, your spiritual wounds, that is. So I had a scarcity mindset around career, and I started noticing these thoughts that would come up, and they were different, but they, I started to connect the dots and they were, formed by a scarcity mindset around my career. So the thought would say, you have nothing to offer. You don't have a place in the world for your passions and for what you wanna do. And who are you to do this? Like you are nothing. So the thoughts would be different, but they would come up every time I would see like one of my idols on YouTube come out with a new project or come out with a new idea. And I was just like, that's it. Like they thought of it all. Like I am nothing. I have nothing to serve and no, nothing to share with the world. And once I pinpointed it, I immediately flipped it around. And I said, you know what? There are so many fitness instructors in the world and they're all different and they're all amazing in their own way. There are so many teachers and there are so many doctors in the world. Like there was no reason for me to not follow my passion and be a spiritual teacher and to teach and to give information. I'm not saying I still have doubts. I'm not saying I don't get scared. I'm not saying it's all perfect, but it's definitely a lot easier. Number four is not my favorite, <laughs> but I feel like it's important to get out there. And it's not my favorite because it's very difficult, especially in the moment. And that is to love your enemies. I have this understanding now that the people that we dislike, the people that we hate, we hate them because they trigger our shadows. They trigger our shadows that we don't want to come up. We don't want our shadows to come up. These shadows have been suppressed for so long and this person is coming in and triggering them and it upsets us and we don't like them because of that. If we hate somebody, we also hate a part of ourselves. I mean, I disagree with people at work, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Like now I have this understanding that they are a reflection of me. And what I mean by that is, you know, we're all one, we're all connected by God or the universe or nature, whatever you want to call it. When you can love your enemies, love them for their flaws, for their wounds, then you can start loving yourself and your shadows and your wounds. Number five is, so once you start to figure out who you are and you start to understand how your enemies are a reflection of yourself and, and you start to detect 
little pick points of your scarcity mindset. You start to becoming and living and breathing who you are. Then you start understanding that your life is not about you because I believe we're all here to serve in some way. It's just about figuring out how we're gonna do that. So once you figure out your life is not about you, your universe isn't a what's best for me universe, it's a what's best for all universe. And that's a much more peaceful universe to be in a much more different perspective. And you do things not because you want to get to a certain destination but because you want it to benefit everybody and you want to serve the best way that you can so those are my five best tips slash reminders to get you on your way to self-love i know you can do it it's going to be difficult but i know how hard it can be i'm still getting there i'm still trying to get to know myself i'm still trying to find what it is that makes me me so i give you the best love on your journey and i hope to see you in the comments Bye.